Hi everyone, um, this is a quick recording to show you how to play the intro riff on acoustic guitar for the song Freedom by Bethel. Um, I'm going to show you the original version which is in the key of D and a version that we use in church which is in the key of G or A. Let's get started. So for the key of D, um, the riff starts, uh, I'm going to show you how to play the riff up here. What we're going to do is we're going to find D, the bar chord version, which is on, if you put your, uh, if you put your first finger um, on the fifth fret, you know that that is D. So what we're going to use is just the, the bottom part of that bar chord. Um, what we're going to do is take your third finger, which is your ring finger, put it on fret 7, string number 3. That's counting from the bottom. The E string is string number 1, the B string is string number 2, um, the G string is string number 3. So finger number 3 on string number 3 on the 7th fret, and finger number 1, your index finger, will bar strings number 1 and 2 on the 5th fret. If you play those three strings, that essentially makes the D chord. Um, and that's the three strings that we're going to use. This, the plucking pattern, not the strumming pattern, the plucking pattern will be the G string twice. So that's string number three. String number three twice. And then string number one. And then string number two. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the pick, so I'm going to use the pick for that G string, string number three, and I'm going to use these two fingers, the next two fingers, which is the middle finger and the ring finger, for uh, playing or plucking on the strings one and two, like how you normally would. So again, it's string three, three, one, two, like that. Three, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, three, one, two. And you just do it a bit faster and it goes. And that's pretty much it. So that's, this is just the intro riff for freedom. Now, that's on the key of D. What if you're playing on the key of G, which is what um, we're going to do here on Sunday at Cross Culture, Church of Christ. Uh, so if you're playing on the key of G, then you need to be finding the uh, G chord equivalent. There's two ways to play it, whether it's here, barring the G. Um, so that's in fret 3 with the normal uh, G chord bar you're going to be using strings two, three, and four. That means finger number three on string number four, fret number five. Finger number two, or your middle finger, on string number three, fret number four. And finger number one, your index finger, on fret number three, on string number two. And those three strings again makes the G chord and using the same pattern, which is four, four, two, three, four, four, two, three. That is um, the same riff, but you'll notice that it doesn't sound high enough. So I prefer to play up here to find another G bar shape which will happen right here on the 10th fret. So if you go up, count three, five, seven, um, nine, ten. At the 10th fret, that's where everything starts. Um, similar to the first one, similar to the D shape before, you're going to use your first finger to bar strings one and two on the 10th fret. And then finger number three to bar string number three on the 12th fret. So that's 10 and 12. These three strings 
strings one, two, three, or the bottom three strings, we'll make the G chord. And it's the same pattern, which is three, three, one, two, three, three, one, two. And that's all that it is.